The forays um, is essentially trying to help the industry move forward. Um, I think a bunch of the constituents, uh, agency groups see addressable as a really bright and um, promising future. Um, the problem is how to pull it all together, and you know, as you might well understand, there are lots of complications with doing that. Um, there are different systems, different M MSOs. There are things that are non-MSOs like satellites, um, and then other sort of vehicles or platforms to deliver adjustable. They don't all speak the same language. Um, there are companies that are out there that help them actually manage the delivery, and they're all different, and those systems don't talk. So I think there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> at least for uh, the four A's and the committee response that we're trying to understand is uh, we're trying to do it in three chunks. One is what do we know about addressable in the digital world vis-a-vis -vis what's broadly known as uh, audience buying? Um, and what are any best practices that uh, we can sort of bring to bear from sort of what we know about how addressable gets done in the online environment? Try and do that by the summer. Um, by fourth quarter, um, we're going to try and work with um, the delivery platforms, the MSOs, the satellite people to sort of really understand how is it that we can make it easier for agencies and advertisers to access addressable homes. Um, is there one, maybe a couple of different platforms that we can use so that we can look at different dynamics within different systems all at the, all at the same time? Because right now it's this conversation, then this conversation, then this conversation, then this conversation. And it's a lot of manual labor to pull that all together. So automation represents a really big opportunity in terms of us being able to um, actually grow this area of the industry um, much more quickly. Um, and then the third area is, um, you know, because these things have identifiers, either, you know, a, a set-top box in a home or a cookie uh, or a device ID, um, <clears throat> when you sort of have the right sort of uh, data systems, you can, be, you can begin to cross-pollinate those universes. And so you can talk to a person um, in an addressable uh, TV platform. You can talk to um, <clears throat> that same consumer um, in the audience buying universe. And there are lots of ways to sort of connect those dots uh, anonymously, um, no PII, of course. Um, but that re represents yet another step um, that uh, I think agencies and marketers have to connect with consumers in the right way, right? So it's all about surrounding consumers with the right touch points. I think um, pushing addressable helps us um, do that in a much more um, credible, um, deliberate, um, and positive way. So the brands want to reach the right people. You want to do that for the brands. What about the broadcasters and the publishers? They, are they motivated? Are they cooperating? Is it in their interest? Where does it stand on the sort of the sell side? Um, I think there is a varied response. Um, different people have different perspectives about what should or should not be. Um, you know, I think the fact of the matter is technology makes lots of things um, possible. Um, and they need to remember that Consumers do things because they can. And if we don't put the consumer first and understand how we need to all fit into their needs, um, agencies, advertisers, and publishers alike, right? Um, everyone loses opportunity over time and things become obsolete and consumers move on. So, I mean, I think uh, some of the publishers should have uh, more of a vested interest in how these elements actually come together. I think addressability, I think for, first and foremost, will be in every medium. I'm already seeing a couple of things. Um, so I'm talking to a company right now called Shop Advisor, and um, you know, one of the things that they're trying to do is build interactivity layers on top of flat print, um, and then um, take it to a, a new level in sort of the um, digital versions of magazines. But now we're, we're, we can cross-ref you know, someone in print with someone on the internet, and then because of the data systems that exist, we can then take that person straight into uh, addressable television. 
Well, I think also radio will get there, things will become programmatic, and we'll be able to sort of understand where consumers exist or where IDs and cookies exist that, make, might, that might make uh, a good deal of sense um, from a, uh, <clears throat> you know, how do we talk to the people with the right characteristics for our various products. So I think um, we'll see addressability spread across all media. It will go uh, somewhat programmatic. Um, and then I think the real opportunity for marketers and advertisers is to understand um, how well they might want to divvy up messages. Um, so something maybe more spectacular and addressable TV and something a little bit more reminder-like in some of the programmatic venues. We'll see. Time will tell. We've gone to all these different places and been able to embrace the culture there. We learn what other agencies are like and how we can take all these best practices back to your own agency and really learn. Um, and the best part, you know, we always talk about it's not about talking, it's about doing.